job is to study solid tumors. In Fred Hutch, you can find Dr. Kristen Anderson leading lectures or in the lab. For her, it's a career choice that wouldn't have happened if it weren't for cancer. And I remember sinking to the ground in tears, just this overwhelming, what am I gonna do? She had just turned 28 when the lump was discovered. So we did a biopsy and the next Monday morning they called and said, we need you to come in because it is cancer. What were you worried about? Oh, I think the biggest thing I was really freaked out about at the time was the type of cancer that I had. So we, it's called or referred to as triple negative breast cancer. The people who have the worst prognosis are often people with triple negative disease. She also found out she carries a genetic mutation that actually worked in her favor. I got really lucky because as a person with a BRCA mutation, um, they actually had developed new drugs that worked really, really well in those kinds of cancer cells. She had that plus traditional chemotherapy. So I have a really great picture of my husband and I um, in the two wigs that I had. It's one of my favorite pictures. She leaned on the support of her spouse and a good friend. Joyce. She just had this laundry list of things that I had never heard of that because she lived it, she knew what I needed. She went through the whole cancer experience and really helped me on my journey. And I have some survivor guilt um, because my cancer didn't come back, but hers did. Um, and we had to say goodbye this summer because hers was stage four, metastatic. Joyce's journey and her own have given her inspiration, whether she's climbing to fight cancer or looking for breakthroughs in the lab. When I went through cancer, I made a huge career pivot because I realized I was only alive because researchers had been in the lab late nights, long weekends, trying to create this drug that saved my life. And I thought, at the end of the day, I have a bunch of skills that I can use to give that back and pay it forward. That's why, eight years after her diagnosis, she's cancer-free and still fighting.